Hi everybody, my name is Joe and I want to share some tips for Battlefield 2042 for old unskilled players. Now I'm 53 and I gotta tell you I've been playing Battlefield since the beginning and I find it an extremely challenging game and I just gotta think that some there's some guys like me out there that would like to play this game but they're just getting like shot in the back like every second. I mean you know you spawn you're killed, you spawn you're killed. There's some 15 year old kid out there that's just I mean taking you apart and it would be really nice to play this game and not be killed every two seconds and so this is where that video comes in so um, as you can see I've got the drone I've put some C5 on the drone and I'm looking around and this is this is the thing uh, you can scope out an area for your your team you can identify some hostile soldiers and if you happen to see a target of opportunity um, you can fly in there with your C5 and potentially blow it up. So that is the biggest tip. If that's all you want, you've only invested one minute, you can exit this video now and that'd be fine. But I've got a lot of, a lot of fun clips to show you about <laughs> flying into things and uh, killing a whole bunch of enemy soldiers like that. Oh man, I just gotta tell you, I love it. It's super fun and it really does help out the team too. If you can identify soldiers, you know, these young guys that are using their mini-map are going to see that information and they're going to utilize it and they're going to have a much better chance of defeating their opposition. So just scouting out is important. But if you can blow up energy, enemy vehicles or in some cases enemy soldiers like we're just seeing right here, um, that also helps a ton for your team. So you've got these vehicles that are just raising hell. I mean, they are really going to town on your guys. And you can fly in there with your drone and blow them up, and that, that is a big thing. So that's, that's like I said, that's the first tip. The second tip is um, a lot of these young guys are really quick on the trigger, and they are fast reflexes, and it's just, you know, I mean, I hate to say it, but like, we don't have it anymore, right? It's just, it's just not our thing. But if you unlock the, the um, high-end sniper rifle, then you have a one-shot kill in most cases. And so that's typically the gun I'll equip. Because they can shoot, they can get off a couple of shots, but if I can just get off one shot, then I have a decent chance of coming out on top in those confrontations. So that is a pretty handy gun. Now sometimes it's kind of fun to sort of get in there with, you know, whatever, and do your thing, or like whatever. But in general, this gun is probably the way to go if you're an older, unskilled player. And you can you can unlock these guns. There's plenty of videos out there on like farming, you know, whatever, playing single player and the bots. And, and then you can get these guns and you can unlock the attachments and things like that. So just like find those out there. They're out there. It's easy to follow. It's easy to do and everything. But I think getting that gun and um, using that for the one shot kills the way to go. Now, I always put all three C5 uh, packs on my drone right off the bat, so I can blow up anything. Now, you can blow up enemy soldiers with one and some of the light vehicles with two, but for tanks and heavy vehicles, it takes three. I just go with three and just kind of blow up whatever, whatever I find. Um, and then you're left with no C5, and sometimes you can find C5 from a cargo pack or somebody will throw you some ammo, which is really great, but a lot of times that doesn't happen and you're flying around with just your drone and you've got no C5. But that oh, isn't yeah. too bad. I don't have a clip of this, but what you can do is um, right click on an enemy, enemy vehicle and then um, you'll be able to disrupt the communications with that vehicle and the function of that vehicle. And it only lasts for a few seconds, but sometimes it's enough for your team to get off a quick shot uh, or whatever, some C5 or the recoilless whatever, and, um, and take that vehicle out. So. You can identify soldiers, you can disrupt enemy vehicles without the C5, and sometimes that's a decent option too. Although, usually what I end up doing is like, once my C5's gone, I kind of head up to the front and try and hit somebody with my one-shot sniper rifle and kind of go from there. But that's another option, it's another way of playing. So here's a short clip of like actually using the sniper rifle and actually shooting some enemy soldiers, which, you know, it's, it's really nice to have this one-shot option kind of sneak up and kind of, you know, get people whatever, like it's, it's, it's doable, it's not going to be easy for people like you and me, but it's once in a while you can get a few points that way.
Now you may be like, why, why do I want to spot all these guys? Why do I want to, you know, like what's in it for me? Well, what's in it for you is if you spot something, you get points. And if you spot something and your team kills that target, then you get even more points. And so it's an easy way to rack up some points um, without being at the front, without getting like drilled every five seconds, like, like you know, what happens um, in this game. And definitely helps your team, definitely helps yourself. So that's, that's how that works. So this sniper rifle is so powerful that in some cases you can find a wounded vehicle and, and actually destroy it with your sniper rifle. So this is a short clip here um, showing a, a wounded tank and um, just kind of getting lucky, you know, he goes back and forth and stays in my sights long enough. I was able to actually okay. blow up the tank with the sniper rifle. So that's doesn't happen very often. I wouldn't really count on that, but you know, if you're kind of back a ways and you see kind of a wounded something, um, take a couple shots at it because you might be able to take those vehicles out. Okay, and then my last tip is, uh, especially when you're on the attacking team, if you can get into a good position, you can provide uh, a spawn point for your team. So they can spawn on you after they get killed, and if you are sort of close to the action but back far enough not to get killed, then that is really going to help out your team because these young guys can just you know, get right back into the action very quickly instead of having to run like halfway across the map. So getting in a good position. Now what is a good position? Well, I, I tell you what, I have had really good luck um, just laying down in bushes. I mean, sometimes vehicles will go right past you, sometimes enemy troops will run right past you. Um, you know, it, it doesn't always work, but if you can be a little bit back and in a big clump of bushes and just kind of lay in there with your with your um, drone screen out, that can work pretty darn well. So, in summary, uh, do lots of scouting with the drone, use the C5 to take out the uh, enemy vehicles and occasionally enemy troops. I've had the best luck, luck with the one-shot sniper rifle because if it's going to be more than two shots, then I'm going to die. Um, if you see a vehicle that's injured, start shooting it with your rifle and then get in good positions for team spawn. So those are my top tips for older players who do not have a high level of skill in this game, which includes me. So hope this has been helpful to some of you guys. If you have some other tips, I'd love to hear about them. Thanks for watching this video and happy gaming.